guys, I'm officially here in the Philippines. I'm just waiting for a friend to come and pick me up. A very special friend. I think you guys will know him when you guys see him. I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah, go yeah. Hello. May tanong lang po ako. San po yung pa Skyway pa kaysa City dito? So James is about to try one of the uh, Filipinos' favorite dish, which is sinigang. So yeah, yeah so for like that soup there too. It's a soup with pork and vegetables. Yeah, and vegetables. It's very healthy, I guess. Yes. And that one is sisig. So we got him sisig for uh, for okay, breakfast. I've not tried this. Uh, looks pretty good. I think it's minced pork. <laughs> My mouth's watering right now. <laughs> minced pork. We have uh, pork. Yeah, we got some pork. Skin, I mean, what pork skin? What? Uh, skin, uh, chicken skin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm still hungry. I can't wait. To okay. Try. All right. The very first taste of Philippines. Let's, yes, Let's go. Hope you like it. Mm, it's, it's like sour. Yeah, it's sour. It gives you that sour taste. I think. Okay. I think because I have a sauce now. This is like the perfect. Perfect. Perfect soup okay, for cool. sauce. Yeah. 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 It's like it's kind of like tom yum. Tom yum. Yeah, tom yum. I don't know that. Um, tom yum is like a Thai, like sweet and sour kind of taste. Oh. Oh, what a good choice! I love this. Yeah. So you actually uh, pair it with the rice uh, too. Yeah. Usually, but you don't have to. It's a soup. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. And the pork too. Oh. Wait, what? The pork, be the pork belly? The pork? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Okay, the next dish here is called the Sisig. Sisig. <laughs> Sisig. It's made, it's made out of uh, pork. Mm hmm. Okay. Pork. Pork, yeah. Cheers, man. Like other stuff. The first taste that I got was this pretty fatty kind of taste, texture in my mouth. Um, it is something I've never tasted before. Yeah. Even in like Chinese dishes, I have not. Like this one, it t tastes like Tom Yum. So it's not like it's foreign to me. Mm. But this one though, like. <coughs> is it spicy? No, it's oh, not. Oh, it's probably got the chili. It's, it's not spicy. Oh, it's not spicy? Mm. Alright. Mmm. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Yeah. Different? It's a little bit sweet. I don't know. I taste a little bit sweet. A little sweet? Yeah. Probably some seasonings on it. Mm -hmm. Or probably they put like special sauce. Because um, in the Philippines, they make it differently. Sometimes. Mmm. I... I do really like the texture of the crispy crispiness of the yeah. pork skin. Is it pork yeah. skin? Chicken skin? Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Alright, so we're now heading to the mall in Philippines and we're gonna explore some of the beautiful malls that you guys have here. Hey guys, so currently we're kind of stuck in traffic. We were supposed to go to the mall, but the traffic here is so bad we couldn't get past like the jam. So we decided to go to like a nearby petrol station. Patrick has to go to the toilet and he was he needs to pee so badly, but we were stuck in like a 30-40 minutes traffic. Um so he's hit to the bathroom now. Um we are not sure what to do. I think we are going to Maybe hit back or something or to get more food. I'm down to eat more food actually. Sampung piso lang mo yung bente. Ano dalawang ano? Dalawang bente. Dalawang bente. Ayo mo. This is the tahu. 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 It's basically your soya bean curd. Yes sir. Okay, we're gonna try it. Cheers. Taste test. Cheers. 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 Oh, it's warm. Mm hmm. Mm. 
Do you like oh, it, bro? I like it. We we have this something similar in Singapore. I have this also. Regional Anything chicken. is fine here. Uh, the lo I can't do it. Chicken sandwich, you know. Huh? Chicken. Sandwich. I like cakes. Good. They like rice. Oh, what is this? This is nice. You want this? Is it what cheesecake? to the hotel now. Hey guys, I'm finally here in Macau after a long 15 hours journey from Singapore to the Philippines. Had a long nine hours layover and then popped back here in Macau. So I'm just in the hotel room right now. I'll give you guys a little tour. Um, it's a pretty nice hotel. So the name of the hotel is called Royal Dragon Hotel. Um, I'm just staying here by myself. But I'm not sure why the hotel is kind of big. So when you come in, you have the toilet. I think this is the common bath. Where there's only a toilet seat. And then you have the mirror. And then when you come in, you have... This is like the little living room that you could chew with your friends. But... I have no friends tonight or for the next four days, so the space is all mine. And then here comes the master bedroom or the bedroom. Um, pretty spacious, a uh, queen size bed. <coughs> and you have the toilet. I love the toilet because there's a bathtub. I don't think I'm gonna use the bathtub, but very clean, very spacious. So I don't have friends for the next four days, but you guys will accompany me. And we're gonna head out for dinner now. I don't know what's there in Macau, so we're just gonna go and explore. I have zero preparation, zero research. I did nothing on Macau, so we're just gonna go down and find some food and eat. So let's go. So I'm currently in the streets of Macau, and we're gonna find dinner. I've not been here, so I do not know what's there to eat. But we're just gonna explore the streets and see what's there, and hopefully we find something good. Ni 嘿嘎 I'm finally back in the hotel I'm so tired <coughs> I think I haven't had sleep in like 24 hours since I touched down in Philippines all the way until now in Macau and I wasn't tired like the entire trip but now that when I lay down on my bed after like <coughs> 20 plus hours I'm starting to feel a little bit sleepy um, it's only about 9 o'clock now, but I think I'm gonna hit the bed early. Then tomorrow, I have another free day tomorrow, so I'm not sure what to do. I might do a little bit of research before sleeping. And yeah, I don't know. <coughs> I'm a little bit sick too. Recovering, but <coughs> seems like the cough is coming back a little bit. Uh, but anyways... I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Oh, 
Okay, I'm ready to go. Um, first stop, breakfast, and then explore Macau. So if your finger touch, the mirror is real. Hmm. Do you have a breakfast before? Yeah, I do. So this is my first Macau breakfast. I've got the porridge, coffee, vegetables, noodles, and some crispy crackles. So we're heading to one of the popular tourist attractions called the Ruins of the St. Paul's. And from where I am, it's about 25 minutes walk away. I don't think I'm gonna take a taxi or public transport because firstly, I do not have enough cash with me. I only have car and they do not have Grab or Uber over here. So it's really hard for me to get a public transport. So I'm gonna walk 25 minutes. Um, I mean, it's good because I just have a heavy breakfast so I could just walk it off. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to visit the ruins of the St. Paul's. It's one of the more popular tourist attractions. So we're gonna walk 25 minutes. Let's go! So I've been walking for like the past 5 minutes, but the Google Maps still shows 24 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm walking the correct way. Time check right now it's 1021 and I have 16 minutes left uh, according to Google Maps 16 minutes to the ruins of St. Paul's I think I'm making good progress here and to be honest even though the Sun is shining quite brightly into my face I don't think it's as hot over here than Singapore um, not as humid it's quite windy over here so I think the walk is pretty bearable um, not as bad as I thought it would be and there are so many beautiful buildings here for me to look at. Hey okay guys, as I walk towards the ruins of the St. Paul's, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm totally not referring to Google, but Macau was colonized by the Portuguese government in the 16th centuries. And you know what's really cool is that while walking towards ruins of the St. Paul's um, you could see the buildings here slowly change into a more I would say Portu Portuguese kind of style or even kind of European style you have buildings like that you have you have more churches around you have like water fountains um, a very European looking clock which I think you will only see it in European countries so I hope you guys learned something here because before coming here I definitely didn't know that we were colonized by Portugal. Thank you. Mm. After 25 minutes walk, we are here at the ruins of the St. Paul's. I'm going to show you guys in a while. It's definitely super beautiful from where my anger is. I'm going to show you guys, okay? Look at that! Behind me is a structure that I believe has been, according to Google, has been rebuilt like three times due to a typhoon. <laughs> and I told you guys just now that no matter how, how far I walk, I couldn't get away from the big massive spaceship looking structure so if I were to show you guys what I'm looking in front it is the structure again yep again that just shows how big and massive the structure is so at the back of this structure they actually built up some additional structure reinforcement to make sure that this building is not gonna collapse Their camera here. I guess it's mine now. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. 
了，我自己来。下个礼拜一要回去啊？对，下个礼拜一回去。三块钱吧。可以，拜拜，谢谢，拜拜。好。So we're gonna try this beef ball. Soup. Um, I found it right downstairs the hotel, <clears throat> and the thing is, I do not have enough cash. I only have fifty dollars left, which is about maybe like nine sing dollars. Um, and I told the person, you know, hey, what can you get me for fifty dollars? And this was what he was able to get. He gave me some free stuff though, so it was good. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna taste the soup first. Oh my gosh! Okay. It's not that spicy. It's just, I think the soup went into like the wrong part of my throat. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm alive. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not gonna die in a hotel room. <coughs> so I just wanna shout out to the people in the Philippines. Um, just yesterday I was in Philippines and I don't think I've expressed my gratitude enough and I know a lot of people in my follower list comes from the Philippines and I am so 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 honored and grateful and touched that you guys are so warm with your welcomes I was flooded with DMs you know people saying oh you know welcome to Philippines um Mubahe sorry if I butcher that but Mubahe which means like cheers um, you know, and people asking, you know, where, where am I gonna go? Or people even wanting to meet me, which I think that was crazy, or that is crazy to me, that people want to meet me. But unfortunately, I was just there for half a day, and I had to come here in Macau to to to, to work a little bit. And I do definitely want to go back to Philippines for to experience the full extent of the Philippines, and not just Manila, but other parts of the Philippines like Palawan or Boracay. You know, beach day in Palawan, I think that's one of my dreams. Yeah, so maybe I'll be back next year and hopefully meet some of you guys. I think it will be really cool if I can see you guys in real life who watch my content, which again, up to today, I think it's insane and mind-blowing to me that you guys are watching my content and liking it, which I really, really appreciate it a lot. So thank you so much for the warm welcome, for the DMs. Um, for suggesting what I can do or what food I should do, I should eat, um, and also big big shout out to Patrick, PJ, and also NJ, which I met on my trip to Philippines. Thank you so much. You know PJ, when I told PJ I was going to the Philippines, he was so down. Um, my plane touched down at four thirty a.m. in the morning, and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go and fetch you. I'm gonna bring you around Philippines. You know, even though it's just half a day. I really appreciate what you're doing, PJ. All right, guys, it's 10 p.m. right now. It's my bit time. <laughs> I had so much fun today, um, even though it's just by myself, exploring the area, eating my way through, um, getting lost, finding my way again with the big Grand List bowl as my compass. I had so much fun just exploring Macau. I really sincerely hope that you guys will have a chance to explore Macau as well and come to Macau one day to experience and yeah thank you so much for tuning in I will see you guys very soon if I travel again if not then maybe not maybe online maybe somewhere maybe in real life I don't know but yeah I, I, I do hope to travel again Okay, maybe not. Maybe I think I do need to take a little break from traveling. I love traveling, but I really hate taking planes. It's so tiring. Oh my gosh. Unless I'm flying business class. So who want to fly me in business class right now? Say it. Say it. Type it in the comment, okay? And I'll connect with you if you want to fly me. Fly me to your country in business class. <laughs> but okay. I'm gonna do some more editing. Edit the video that you are gonna watch now. Yeah. And I'm gonna head to bed. I tomorrow it's it's an early day tomorrow. 
um, 9 a.m. I'm gonna meet the team for this. Sh we're shooting something here in Macau. That's why I'm here. Um, but stay tuned. I, I can't wait for you guys to see what we shoot. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in next video. Bye.